here we go. It's about right here, folks. I didn't know that who would have thought that those microbes are so deeply connected with the cow, the plant, everything you see on top of there. When you hear the word holistic, people say, what are the first thing farmers say? Oh no, it's hippie stuff. <laughs> Get over it, it wasn't the hippies. They were too drugged up to figure it out. <laughs> the reality is, when we say holes and holism, it's saying that nature works in cycles. She's cyclical. Whole means you've got to see that whole picture of how everything's connected. That's what they're talking about. Some people have caught on to that. What I walked away is with fragments. If you walk away with fragments, you can't solve the problem. So it's all about interconnectedness. Isn't it ironic our country is very interconnected communication-wise, but very disconnected from the ecosystem? That's what's happened. We're disconnected. And those who are not involved in agriculture are even more disconnected. So, let's go again. Here. Now, I love this slide. A lot of you know Joe Salvatin, right? Him and I were in the same speaking group. I said, Joe, we did in New York. I said, give me that slide. I love that slide. Because Joe was telling the farmers and ranchers, farmers, you focus too much on nature's dissimilarities. And you should be focusing on her similarities. And he goes, well, what do you mean by that? And this is what he talks about. I want you to tell me, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to tell me which of these slides is from Africa and which one is from Virginia, Stratton, Virginia, and they get 31 inches of precept. It's his farm. Which one is Virginia and which one is Africa? How many think this is Virginia? Raise your hand. How many think this is Virginia? Raise your hand. How many don't know? <laughs> How many are really guessing? I'm, I guess. I go, wow, that looks really similar. Do you know which one was? Here's his point. He said, farmers, what is similar between Africa and Virginia? What are some of the similarities? Let's think about it. What are things happening in Africa? What does Africa and Virginia have in common? Trees. Trees. Let's start thinking. What, what else? Climate. Climate. They got climate. Some of the climate means be sort of similar. Soil. How about soil? Micro? How about the word diversity? Oh my goodness, you mean there's diversity over there and diversity over here. And we're not tapping into that powerful force we're going to talk about tomorrow. Diversity, diversity, diversity. What are the common things that these farmers we're going to talk about? They embrace diversity. Uh, not only the cropping systems, their animals, but their financial system. Diverse, diverse, diverse. But here's this point. Because what's the first thing I go when I talk to landowners? You can't get no-till work here, Ray, because it's Arkansas. <laughs> or it's Louisiana. It's too wet. It's too dry. How many times have I heard that? Everywhere. We as humans focus on nature's dissimilarities instead of her similarities. We are going to focus on her similarities, her commonalities, her principles. She's telling us something, and we're going to learn some more about it. So, here's my first test. I love this beat-up, ugly slide. I use it as a visual. I said, okay, teaching moment. And I did this in front of the EPA. And I said, farmers, our NRCS, where's our NRCS employees? Raise your hand again. <laughs> I'm going to pick on you guys. And you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Can you see that? Can you see it from back there? When you walk up to that farm in Michigan, what is the first thing that sticks out in your mind is a resource concern. Oh, by the way, I would have got it wrong. Seven years ago, I would have got it wrong. NRCS employees, Tom, right? Yes, sir. Tom, you're a good man. Tell me, what do you think? That was a very good rock record area. Aha! Isn't that interesting? 98% of our people focus on that. You know what I want them to focus on? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Those are 10, 15% slopes. We just tilled that soil. The aggregate stability is destroyed. We just saw nature is not uncovered. That is a freak of nature. She has to be covered all the time to protect that beautiful soil. It doesn't have its natural covering. You know what I told the EPA? We don't have a runoff problem in this country. Where did they get that guy from? I'll say it again. We don't have a runoff problem in this country, ladies and gentlemen. We have an infiltration problem. See, because the moment you say runoff, you know what's going to happen, Tom? We're going to stand behind the diaper. That's a buffer as a diaper. I call that a diaper practice. I love buffers. Don't misunderstand me. But if the soil is bare, 98% of the soil is bare, and you have this little diaper, oh my goodness, it's a diaper. Water hits it, soil sealed, 15% slope, you have sheet flow, sheet flow goes to channel flow, and then the diaper's going, oh my goodness, it's too late. The battle is right with that 20, when that raindrop falls at 20 miles an hour. The battle is right there, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Runoff is a symptom of poor infiltration. See the difference now? You want that water not in your pond. You want it in your soil. You can't grow grass from your pond. It's all about infiltration. <coughs>